Okay, we're going to have a look at some division with remainders. But we're going to put the remainders as decimals. So let's have a go. I'm going to divide 28 by 3. I'm going to write it out this way. With the number I'm dividing by on the outside and the number I'm dividing on the inside and straight away I'm going to say how many threes are there in two? Well there aren't any, it's too small, so I'll carry the two forward. How many threes are there in 28? Well nine threes are 27 and I have one left over to make 28. Instead of putting my remainder there like that, I'm going to turn it into a decimal. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put a decimal point in here. After a decimal point, I can put as many zeros as I like. So 3's into 28 was 9, which is 27, remainder 1. I can now carry on after the decimal point. How many 3's in 10? 3, 6, 9, that's 3, remainder 1. How many 3's in 10? 3, 6, 9, that's 3. And you can see that's going to go on forever. So we'll stop there and just put a little dot over to say that it goes on. Actually, it can go there, actually. And we can get rid of that. It goes on forever. So the answer is 9.3 or 9 remainder 1. But we're going to try and do all of them as decimal remainders. Let's try another one. 26 divided by 5. 26 on the inside, 5 on the outside. How many 5's in 2? Well, it's not big enough. I'll just carry that forward. How many 5's in 26? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So that's 5 5's are 25. And there's one left over. But we're not going to do a remainder, we're going to do a decimal instead. Decimal point in, put some zeros in, ready? 5's into 26 was 5, remainder 1. How many 5's in 10? 2. And we've finished, we don't have to bother with these because they'll just be zeros. The answer is 5.2. Let's try another. 45, 46 divided by 3. How many 3's in 4? Well, that's 1, remainder 1. How many 3's in 16? Well, 5 3's are 15, remainder 1. How many 3's in 10? 3's into 10, go 3, and we're back with the remainder 1, going on forever.